Interestingly enough, good morning, grasshoppers. Let's take a quick look at my second game. We'll do a review of all three games for the most part. I tend to prefer this particular line, even though knight takes d4. How many times have I played it? I've played queen takes d4 in this position 17 times. And I must have lost to somebody. Not recently. This position right here, bishop g5, queen to d3. After all, that queen is terribly misplaced. What was I thinking? To allow exchanges when my opponent is cramped, and then I uh, failed to see the danger to my pawn on e4. Knight takes c6 was probably in order. It likes knight takes e7, f3, giving up the uh, e5 square to my opponent. Maybe. Then with the bishops, maybe I can lock down on the center. Perfectly acceptable uh, move here. Looks pretty good. I don't know how I'd ever get about winning this. That is certainly equal, but I lost my pawn. Thumped about with the plan until I gave my opponent the e4 square and then waited until my opponent played one horrible move, gave away the pawn, and then it escalated a little bit to losing a piece. Ah yes, d4. Let's see if my opponent is a real chess player. He is a real chess player. I say that for the primary reason that most of my opponents do not know how to fight for the center. They've just put their pieces on squares as though they are connecting the dots. It's paint by numbers. We're a little late on the queen to b4 scale. Let's just see if we can continue developing. Continue developing. So now that the bishop's committed to e2, can I now play c5? C5, knight takes d5. Queen takes d5, queen takes c5, queen takes c5, e takes c5, hmm, does not quite match up. Alright, we'll go for it another way. We're in a highly original Grunfeld territory for a change. I do want to thank my sponsor, who provides me with quite a number of literary... What in the world is going on here? Do I wish to do that? Is he going to push d5? I don't think. Returning the pawn. In what manner can I return the pawn? C4, Queen C2, C5. I don't really wish to, uh, bother him so much. But let's see what we can do.
try to get an aggressive stance here. Uh oh, 23 seconds again. This time I can't really do this. We're going to have to be moving to make time. We're making time, folks. Making, making, making time. That's our goal. And... Chess... Let's see what he wishes to do. Gotta make time, folks. Making time, making time. You promise, learn. I say, you do. No question. All right, so I am three away, and I'm queening with check. Zuri, one, two, three. How do are it. you? Just do it. Welcome to the dojo. I am Fide Trainer and National Master John MacArthur. Thank you for following. Where are you from? I'm in New York City. Perhaps making a trek today to the World Amateur Team. Suri 123. Thanks for following. What is that automatic response about? We will look at my loss in the first round to Ron Hay while I was trying to get the, the stream started. The claims that I said thanks for following twice. Let's do this over here. Knight F uh, G3, fine. Whoops, he's gotten me out of my comfort zone. But we'll uh, go for it anyway. How about that? We are going to go for it anyway, and very Grunfeld-esque fashion. Well, that's interesting. What do I wish to do with him here? Fine. First things first, we're going for equality. We are 
absolutely money penny going for equality. <clears throat> he didn't actually think that I was going after his stuff, did he? Keep stepping up until I can decide how we're going to really go after his center. Keeping his bishop re restricted. Can I do it that way? Let's just keep on keeping on. Well, that is a bummer. That is most assuredly a bummer. Most assuredly a bummer. We're going to keep on keeping on. Thematically, I wish to do with him. Keep out posting my pieces and Fascinatingly enough, we managed to hornswoggle our opponent with an x-ray of all things. Sorry. No loss. Comprendemos. I'm way overdue. On the I wish to get in and bother my opponent track. And now we will fight for the center. Am I losing this pawn? Oh no, I was losing that pawn. Is that crazy or what? Let's get it moving. What do you have here, folks? I believe he is a spectator. That was a well-needed win over uh, a very pesky, pesky opponent. I'm now one in four. Small inroads, everybody. Small inroads into our opponent's position. We see Logic is streaming. How does he get up earlier than me? Or does he not go to sleep? <laughs> 
Or does it keep odder hours than I do? That is the question. The rocky terrain of chess in the background. Good morning, Ron. How are you, sir? This is as good a time as any to go over my faux pas against you earlier today. You have finished. I was having some stream trouble, obviously. So here's the sixth move, and I have to decide what I'm going to do. I've played g3 five times in this position. Bishop e2 and bishop e3 have both served me much better. Bishop e3 seems the most realistic. 10,000 games to 6,000. But, needless to say, I chose the 33% solution. And uh, rook e1 is more common in this position than a4. a4 being the second best move, perhaps. Now, knight on d to e2. Knight takes c6. B Bishop takes c6 and a5. Locking down on the queenside square seems extremely logical. Probably... I didn't choose this continuation, Ron, because I thought that the, uh... It's Irina Chan. Sign. Good morning, Good Irina. Morning, John. Congratulations, if you're telling everyone today. Are you going to be allowed to stream in captivity? It's Irina Chan. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. It's Irina Chan. We I believe that you'll be the one that. wearing the uh, wearing the drawers, let's just say, in the relationship. Anyway, let's see what really put me downhill. What really put me... Oh, knight to d5. How embarrassing is that? Knight to d5, and then I take on b3. And I have a positional edge. Aha! In any event, I literally just lost it. Chess Alpha. If you're not following Logic or Irina Chan, now is the time. Chess Alpha. Let's see where we're supposed to be this morning. No Halloween gambit today. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. An old alkyne recipe. Did you really lose sound? That's not good. My Streamlabs has been acting very funky lately, so it's unfortunate if that is the case. How did I fix it yesterday? Testing, testing, testing. Properties. I need a backup microphone just in case. That would be the case. Let's just uh, go for this Meroxy bind to the best of our knowledge and ability. Can we go for it in this particular case? It's Irina Chan. Said. Now the sound is back. No. Oh. That's Alpha. Nicely done. Wasn't thinking. I was not thinking. I was only thinking tunnel vision in that sense. Nicely done. Relegated to the minor leagues again. How did I start the day? Sound is back? Good. I don't know what was going on, but Streamlabs was very problematic this morning. It may require a system restart. Hydrate. Good thing I have a backup water bottle. I took the other water bottle downstairs to fill it yesterday. 
Cheers, Ron. Thank you, man. Namaste. On behalf of Ron, we have to catch up on some old things for the most part. So here is knight takes e5. One of the best moves, apparently so. Knight on g to e7, though, there's a refutation to this that costs him a pawn. So c3 is apparently better. Bishop to b6, d4. He keep getting taught by people that Benoni structure is very rough in the end game is this true, John? That is very true. Both the King's Indian and the Benoni are known for their inferior end games, and you have to really checkmate your opponent if you play the Benoni. On average, you have to really checkmate your opponent. There are a lot of end games, of course, that could be good for you, but you have uh, you're fighting the odds, basically, because you're wasting a lot of tempi. White wastes a certain amount of tempi. I usually only play it against the Fianchetto variation. From now on, I'm going to play against the Fianchetto Grunfeld. So, uh, was this the white uh, Bishop A4, perhaps? I don't know. So here, bishop d6 is normal. Rook d1 is what I should play straight away. Indeed. I eyeballed that one. Went for c4. My opponent went for c5 and knight to c6, and I'm already in trouble. So I should once again go for rook to d1. Or play c5 myself. That was a move that did not occur to me. Undermine it. Going to be doing some undermining exercises today. But you do need a two in your one two punch. I tend to say that there are three levels of opponent that you would like to strike out against, assuming their ratings are accurate in the real world when the ratings were a little bit more accurate. I would play the Minoni against someone in a certain rating age, age bleh, a certain rating range. And I had openings against D4 for other rating ranges, such as the Benko Gambit, or uh, or the Grunfeld, or the Cambridge Springs even. When I played Masters and above in the past, I would often play something like the Cambridge Springs or a Queen's it's Gambit Decline. And I would literally what challenge them to beat me. You no longer play the Benoni in. <laughs> I don't play the Benoni against much stronger players. So therefore, anyone more than 100 rating points above me, I would definitely probably not play the Benoni against them. It's just not logical. Let's just say it that way. So after my opponent castles question mark, C5 is nearly winning. Wow. Not only am I winning a pawn, I'm sticking him on d6. So, and and this actually helps you gain a tremendous amount of, um, right word, you gain a tremendous amount of, uh, but why isn't this person playing for a win with 50 seconds on the clock against Logic? Oh, it wasn't Logic. Who was that player that drew? It's Irina oh, Chan. Said. That's correct. That is absolutely correct. And that's why you're having so much fun. Trust me, if you play someone somewhat above 2300, when you play the Benoni, you really do have to uh, go in with your guns blazing. Um... Ron Hay hit him with the immediate c5, and Thinker Teacher went for a pseudo Kali system with e3.
ended up wetting a pawn. Or did he win a pawn? He's got stuff going on here. But it looks like Rook on A to A8 is a little bit better. Fascinatingly enough. He takes C5, and now Black is just clearly better. So it's so clearly better. Knight H5. Knight G3. Thank you, Arena. Oh, there is a GM. Welcome back. And I'll play the Dutch. I forgot that I like to play the Dutch as well. The Dutch is also a very, very good opening for certain levels of players. The Nimzo Indian is another really great opening, but I'm going to stick with my learning of the Grunfeld here to a, to a good extent. It's Irina Chan. Said. Does Dutch always start with F? No, believe it or not, the Grunfeld does not always start with F. We're going to blast the center here in Karo Khan-esque fashion. Do I wish to do that? Well, that's fascinating. My opponent is giving up his center pawns. And his bishop pair. Keep up the attack here, just in case. Oh, was I supposed to play it that way? I was supposed to play it that way. Fascinating. Fascinating. Ali Reza? It's Irina Chan. Said. For Dark Bishop. <laughs> Indeed. For Dark Squared Bishop. It does remain a spectator. And now for something completely different. What are you going to recapture with? Irina Chan, Said, 
You should bring it back from the bench if you get to promote it the service another go. Do I wish to go this way? <laughs> I feel I feel like Takes, takes, takes. He is getting to F5. That much is true. I'm a little bothered by that. send an announcement because I play regularly, regularly, absolutely regularly against all comers. for following. Where are you headed? And what does it all mean? Wise guy. Yeah, be careful of losing on time. It's I didn't want to chance. take a draw. Said, you I did miss mate, mate yeah? John. I was pretty sure that I missed mate. He missed mate. I missed mate, he missed mate. So let's see here. C5 is highly, highly Said. dubious. Said. Jack. It's I missed mate in Said. one. You missed mate in. Queen E1, Said. Bishop F1. Said. You blue no. nerd, a maid. Pegasus S3. Bishop E2. Said. King and F. Queen E2, then F1. Oh my god. That's terrible. So I actually allowed mate here. In order to get that mate, I actually had to Aye. allow mate here. Yeah. Right? And then here, 
checkmate. Ai. Check, check. Sahip. Hey, Mister. And then F one. <laughs> How did I not see that? Oh, thank you, everybody. It's true. I was worried about losing on time, and I did lose on time. Very prophetic, wasn't it? Crazy. Very it's prophetic. <laughs> it is time to practice made in S. Indeed. But I get no rating points for practicing maiden once. But obviously, Good morning, Boo Boo. What's up? Can you print something? Hello. I will have to fix the printer. Um, you, what time are you leaving? I'll fix the printer. So where is it? Uh, puzzles? Puzzle dashboard? You promise none. I say you do. No question. Puzzle themes. Unknown destination. One, two, three. How are you? Where are you from? Hydrate. Thank you, Arena. One second here. Unknown destination 123. Thanks for following. Unknown destination 123. Said. I am from Zimbabwe. That is awesome. It's Irina Chan. Said. I'm trying to think How of who is else is from Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe that I may or may not know. Where is Idris Alba from? Fiona Matusi is from Uganda. Atu Odalapu, International Master. Difficulty level hardest. As though there is actually such a thing as a hard maiden one, right? Ai, say it. Did I mean we're not gonna budge? You are on this call. Unknown destination 123. Not really good. Said, it's Erina Chan, not really good. Ai, Said, him. What is the main reason for it not being very good? What is the primary reason for it not being very good? My suspicion is that it is lack of organization. It's the organizers. Said, there are is people rated offer. It's Irina Chan. Said, <laughs> no, it's not because it's Africa. I agree that there are some issues there. Said, choose it as Africa. I agree that there are some issues there. How about mate and twos? I wonder if I can gain any rating points from mate and twos. Basically, I missed mate and two. I didn't play. Oh, I did miss mate and one, but I basically missed mate and two. Puzzle dashboard. Puzzle themes. Ai, Said, him in Romania. Thank you, AI. Romania is one of my pseudo favorite chess countries. It is the land of Mihail Marin and a number of really good streamers. Um, DM Tranquilizer, Mercea, Mercea the, the, the best. I sound to call him Mercea the Beast because he's not necessarily giving you the impression of a beast. So checkmate in two. Oh, these are lovely. 
I love Checkmate in two. I'm not gonna get that many it's of them here. Chan. Said. Netherlands has a lot of high rated people per for 100,000. I think Maiden 2 is a much better way of going about it to a certain extent. Up and over. Yeah? We'll do, uh, oh, I gained a rating point. And I'm still at the hardest level, so that's good. That's why I gained a rating point. It's Irina Chan. Said. Pepper rated. Dentist's appointment. Double check. And mate. Ah, this looks very similar to the one that I missed. Check and made. Ai, Said. VS Netherland boy. One versus one, Netherland boy? <laughs> How do I? I'm gonna grab the, uh, the link to the dojo or the YouTube. If I can. Let's do this. I would suggest... That you join Master Chess Dojo and join the daily training because I actually play one versus one in a tournament setting all the time, every day. And we have a reward system on Twitch for uh, channel points. Unknown Destination 123. No, oh, you can't hear me. That's not good. Did the sound cut out again for anyone else? It's Irina Chan. Said. Refresh uh, page refresh... Unknown Destination. Refresh Ari. the page. Said. How to play on this platform. AI, basically... Ari. You are on chess.com, obviously. On chess. That is where all of the, I'd say 90% of beginners, if not more than 90% of beginners, begin on chess.com. And it's probably my main issue with chess.com is that in order to play worthy opponents, opponents that have a bit of knowledge about chess, that you can learn from as opponents, it's basically. Chan. Said. Yeah, stream dice and then sound shoot out. Let's see here. Three minutes ago, stream disconnected, attempting to reconnect. Ah, that's not good. That's too bad. In any event, um, I will be back since my daughter is going to her. Uh, Dentist appointment. She's only home for the weekend for a dentist appointment on President's Day, no less. So therefore, it makes it really, really tricky. Right? Tricky. So what we're going to do... Well, hold on here. It's Irina Chan. Said. Hattaps wewewe YouTube com watch fair some kedem you can always follow John his stream with sound here. Yeah, but I, I believe that um, Unknown Destination. Oh, I see. You think the sound is better on YouTube? Well, we're going to find out. I'm going to check both in just a moment because this is a relatively short stream to watch. Uh... I may continue with these mate and twos for the most part. But in general, I'm going to go to mate and threes perhaps because I think mate and threes is the next level. I have to really, really get some mate and threes to be able to see the patterns leading to mate and two and mate and one. On the whole, namaste everyone. 
our daily arena, by the way, our pl how to play on this platform. Basically, you want to go to leechess.org. It's Irina Chan. Say, Tom just returned on Twitch. On Twitch. Wonderful. Right when I'm about ready to cash in my chips. You can, of course, uh, go to... Uh, you can find me by searching for Master Chess Dojo. Tomorrow is Tartikar's birthday. <laughs> Sorry. We have on the weekends Master Chess Dojo Rapid and Classical. I'm going to put that link in the... Uh, in the YouTube chat as well. Rapid and classical on weekends. And I know that link came out on there. Namaste, everyone. Thank you so much. Have a terrific day. Cheers and ciao. Plus 3.5.